Submit TV. And now we're going to talk about Jake the Snake Roberts. First time I met Jake the Snake Roberts was at the Professional Wrestling Hall of Fame. Which used to be located here in Amsterdam, New York. But relocated in Wichita Falls, Texas. But we'll be talking about that in another video. It was around April, so beginning of April, you know, like April Fools, my main man, Bill Fatel. Woke me up in the morning and said, George Giant Midget. I said, yes, Buff Bill Fertel. And he said, you got to come down to the Hall of Fame. And I said, man, you know, I'm kind of doing my own thing. I'm very busy. What's going on? Why do I have to come down to the Hall of Fame Museum in Amsterdam? Which relocated to Wichita Falls, but we'll get into that in another video. He said, man, Jake the Snake Roberts is coming down and you got to be here. You'll never believe it. I said, man, I don't believe it. April Fools, haha, I get it, you know. Um, but he came on down, which you can see right here. Actually, um, that's not at the museum. I had met him later on at the event. Um, when he came down to the museum, it was a private walk-on, so I just let him be knowing that I was going to see him later at Dynasty event. Plus, I got uh, footage of uh, the time um, I got to see up close and personal at ringside him to do the DDT, Jake the Snake Roberts do the DDT, which you can see right here. Which was very exciting, but I was so honored to be that close to see that snap of the DDT, and he is the master of the DDT. Nobody does the DDT better than Jake the Snake Roberts. Um... Got to talk to him about all of this at Mick Foley's, Mick Foley's, Mick Foley's 50th birthday bash, at which he has to say this. But I love Jake the Snake Roberts. He got to sign my Coliseum video, which I, I love and stuff, and very honored that, you know, that's cool as hell. If you come to my house, there's a whole bunch of cool stuff over here, and uh, which I'm trying to share to everybody. So thanks for tuning in um, on all this gibberish this whole time. And with all that said, I'm the most infamous, George Giant Midget. Peace until next time and beyond.